What's up? Good morning, guys. The CPI results are in, and guess what? It's great for the crypto market. What we have seen is that the rolling 12 months of inflation has now dropped down to 4%. This is a great sign. It shows that things are moving the right direction. And for the month of May, we actually saw inflation drop to 0.1%. Now, the reason why this is good for the market is we are now seeing what the Fed has been doing is actually impacting the cost of goods and services, all right? We are feeling the squeeze and the economy is slowing and this is a good sign, all right? Now, it sucks for us, obviously. We hate to feel this squeeze, but this is what has been needed for the economy to start to recover, to start to see, you know, everything begin to slow down. There's so much money flowing around that it's... Uh, it's created a problem, okay? That's why you've seen everything so expensive. Now, we've seen big pullbacks in the energy sector. <clears throat> Food is pretty much flat. Everything's everything's almost gotten flat. Now, what this means is if we look at, you know, June, if we end up showing another month of a 0.1% inflation or even flat 0%, it means that right now we're on pace for somewhere between 3 to 3.2% 3 inflation for the, the rolling 12 months, okay, for the entire year of 2023. This would be a great sign because it get, is again getting back to the numbers that we were seeing before that that anywhere from 2 to 3.69% inflation for the rolling 12 month period. So the markets have already took this news. They've started moving to the upside. Now, the big question is what is the Fed going to do tomorrow? Tomorrow is the FOMC meeting and what this does is it almost almost certainly, you know, locks in a 0% interest rate hike. Okay, I was trying to figure out the best way to say this. It almost guarantees this. Now, <clears throat> there's still the off chance that they could do another 25 basis point hike, just rip the Band-Aid off, do the last little wave that they need to do, and just implement that, right? Because these were, these were very good numbers. These are a lot better than we've been seeing throughout the year. It shows that everything is really starting to flatten out. That's that's what we've needed. So the market is is probably going to see some, you know, a little bit of green today. I wouldn't be surprised if it if it still kind of pauses and waits for tomorrow for that final confirmation because that's what tomorrow really is. Is the FOMC meeting is going to be the final confirmation of whether we are going to, you know, try to find a leg to the upside or whether we're going to essentially stay flat for, you know, the next 3 weeks or so as we get, you know, to late late uh January or January. Late June. Late June, guys. God, this year has gone quick, but I thought I'd share that with you guys. Thought I'd give you a quick update on what's going on. Great stuff to see, and hopefully this day continues to go well. So appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Take care.